Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for tutorials. So guys, today I create new style of MoGraph animation with using Cinema 4D R22. But guys, you can use any Cinema 4D version. So firstly guys, I'm going to take up cube, this one, and change cube size. Size I take like 50, all 50. Yeah. And guys, I go to display, select all shading lines. So fill it, check, and fill it radius, I take one and subdivision guys i take five yeah that's my first cube and now guys copy this cube press ctrl c and v so go to down yeah guys select this cube one and guys only change this one radius like this so you can hide first one yeah see guys that's my second one and increase also subdivision i take like 24 yeah see guys that's my second shape right and unhide both shape yeah see guys right okay so now guys i take cloner so move graph and use cloner select both object and make child with cloner yeah select this cloner and mode i take liner yes and count i take one yeah and position i take zero yeah and clones guys this one i take band yes yeah and guys factor i use plane and guys go to parameter position uncheck and modify clone click see guys that's my modify clones yeah that's my shape animation right okay so guys go to fall off and line of will check yes and directional change like this yeah okay so now guys go to modify clone and go to 100% select this line of field and guys i create animation like this yeah that's really good right okay so now Guys, I create more shapes, so select this cloner and copy, press Ctrl C and V. So select this one, guys, that's my cube one and change size. So in decrease, I take like, guys, height first one, actually, yeah, like 30 and height increase, I take like this okay so i select this line of field and go on here yeah and guys select this one little bit decrease like 70 yeah and z1 like 30 yeah and radius full yeah see guys that's my second one i show you select this line of field and yeah right so easy guys okay so, so guys now i take more shapes so select this cloner one and copy and only change this cube one guys this time i take spare like 75 yeah and all 75 because i create spare and increase radius yeah select this line of field and yeah right okay so now guys last one select this cloner and copy and only change q1 and this time guys x1 i take like 50 50 and increase height like y axis like 100 and same 50 yeah and guys radius increase like this yes so line up here yeah see guys that's my all shapes right okay so now guys i take one more cloner that's my main cloner and rename main clone so guys select all cloners and make child with clone yeah and guys select this one and 
use mode grid array and guys go to here count increase and size 50 and 50 yeah I select this one yeah and increase like this like 20 yes see guys that's my shape right it's really good guys so hide lines yeah and guys i create animation like this right okay so now guys i increase frame frame i take like 400 yes i select this line of field and go to here position go to chord and minus 600 and guys now i go to 120 frame i go to 120 frame and press this animation key yeah and guys go to like 300 and like this minus actually 600 yeah press this animation key see guys that's my animation yeah yes right okay so now guys i create one more animation so select this main cloner and again i take plane and guys position uncheck scale size check and ununiform check yeah and i'm going to fall off and line of really check yes and this one i select this line of field yeah go to here plane and scale size i take minus one yeah and select yes see guys that's my animation right okay so guys same go to here like 600 position and go to zero frame and press this animation key yeah and i go to 100 frames 100 and position minus 600 and check yeah so go to back and play yes that's really good and guys now you can also create rotation rotation check like this randomly and play yeah see guys that's my rotation animation right and go to back like this yeah and play yes see guys that's my beautiful animation yeah that's really good right okay so now guys i apply delay factor so select this main cloner and use delay and spring like 60 percent yeah and play yeah much better right so go to back and play yeah and second one yes great okay so guys now my animation is finished i apply rigid body and collider tag so select this flow and go to down yes and guys yeah okay so guys go to all cloners this one so select this this one cube and right click guys go to simulation tag and apply rigid body and guys select this rigid body tag and i go to force liner damp i take 100 and 100 yeah that's it right so guys select this rigid body tag apply on cubes yeah right simple right okay so guys select this cube one and right click go to simulation tag and rigid body same but guys some changes go to dynamic and transaction time i take 50 yeah that's it guys. so select and apply all cube one yes right okay so go to back and play and that's my second one yes okay so guys i apply 
collider tag on flow yes and play yeah that's really good right see okay guys my animation is really good and last one guys i change only gravity effect yes i change only gravity so go to mode and project guys go to dynamic and gravity i take minus 150 and play yeah yes see guys that's really good right and set camera angle like this yeah yeah okay so guys now i apply some force tag go to turbulence and strength i take like 50 50 scale size 50 and play yeah and guys second animation yes really good that's my seamless animation guys right okay so now i take camera and guys i set camera angle so like this yes that's my camera angle and go to back and play yeah right okay so guys my animation is finished now i apply materials yes guys that's my seamless animation so go to create and load material and that's my file yes guys apply all cubes yes and guys that's my silver material yes and second one change like this yeah and guys this one and this one that's my gold material and play yes see guys that's really good right i really like this animation guys okay so guys my animation is finished now i apply light so use sky and guys that's my sky material yes and right click on sky right click and go to rendering tag compositing and scene by camera uncheck and i go to render setting global illumination and guys global illumination directly catch i take low low and anti select best and go to save guys go to desktop and create new folder new folder and take any file name and guys use all frame that's it guys so close and yeah go to zero frame and render okay so guys actually my texture is missing select and luminance yeah this one yeah and apply this one and guys i also apply white material on flow yeah much better and play yes see guys that's really good okay so guys that's it my final animation is finished so if you like my video please share and subscribe my youtube channel and guys you can download this all project file and material from my website it's free thank you